Hello, it's Jake, and today I've got a lot of stuff planned. Before we get started, I want to thank everyone who subscribed to my channel over the weekend. Now, this is all new to me doing videos like this. I've done videos before on Mod Railways and that, but never like this. Um, so, please do give me a subscribe if you want to see more content. I've got loads of stuff coming up. Uh, keep watching this video whilst I'm driving to where we're going today. I shall be talking about it. Um, but yeah, thank you to all new subscribers, uh, the above community as well for commenting on my latest pictures and everything. Fantastic. Thank you all. The above community is absolutely the best. I mean, they help you with everything. I've been asking a lot of questions just lately on the exhaust and everything, and they've all been now that help. So that is great. Thank you all if you're watching this video. Um, <clears throat> I still got a bit of a cough, a bit of cold, but I'm getting better and a lot better than I was a week ago. So plans today. Wow, well, I gotta go and post a parcel. Uh, then we're gonna head over to Blakeney Straits, take my RC FTX crawler out, give that a little play. Um, also, there's a new decor or decal on my bath. We'll take a look at that. Something that I wanted for a long time. Finally bit the bullet, put it on the other day, and it looks fantastic. Um I've just had post come actually. I was waiting for some parcels for the bath. And one of them is this Italian flag, which is miles too big. Uh, when I bought this off eBay, it showed it on the rear wing of the car, and that's where I want to pull it. But that's too big for the rear wing of the car. I just want to strip. So it's all right. It costs, I can't remember how much it cost, to be honest. But I'll cut it up and use it for how I want to use it. Um, so yeah, other thing was, I thought it was up for your bath, it was a it was screen protector. I'm filming this all on my new Samsung Galaxy S10, and i got to say the quality is really good on the videos. Uh, some of the best quality I've ever seen from when I've been doing filming. So that's great. Recommend this phone straight away for filming. Um, and I need a new selfie stick. So I've ordered a new one of these, I was hoping that for you today. Um, but never mind, that's not a problem. So, stop one, post office. Right, so we're headed down to Blakeney Straits. I've been to the post office and everything, got that all the way. I did have the camera on, but I probably won't edit it just because I was in a queue for quite some time. Um, but yeah, I'm headed to Blakeney Straits. Uh, and we, we shall see this FTX off-road. I have not taken it off-road yet, so this is going to be an all new experience. Um, if you don't know me, I do RC stuff, RC models, and one of my favourite RC models is the Tobias uh, 140 trucks, which are stunning. I have a few of them. Oh yeah, bath, bath power. <laughs> oh, I love it. So, what cars do I want to add to the channel? Wow. Ferrari and Lamborghini has always got to be up there, but that can happen anytime soon. Um, however, I love my classic cars, and I would really like to get a possibly um, a Fiat 126. That's one of my all-time goals as a car to get. Um, so that'd be that'd be pretty cool. Otherwise, the a 126. I mean, I had a Singer Vogue, and it was a studded car, but you couldn't drive it. It needed a lot of work done, and when I mean a lot of work, a lot of work. I'll have an update on the single vote one day, uh, but it's gone now. Um, I will tell you all what happened to it at some point. Uh, I'm still trying to get over the horror of it going, but um, yeah, I, I like my American Muscle, and I want to add a American Muscle Cadillac Eldorado 1976 to my car garage. Um, I just love that car. I think it's one of the best looking cars ever built. Um, so that's a possibility at some point. Um, I would have had one by now. I really would have. However, a Cadillac is not a normal car. A Cadillac is very big. The problem we have is we have a garage and we have a carport. Now the garage is full of bikes. Because my brother and dad you know, do all the biking stuff. So, cars can't really go in now. You go in and out for the winter, but it won't be this winter. Um, he's having a special area built in the carport, and he's small, so he can go in the small places. Um, 
but there's just nowhere to put it, nowhere to put a Cadillac. Um, I have a friend, well, dad's friend, who owns a farm, and I'm pretty sure he would say, yeah, bring it down, you can leave it down here, I'll give you a key for the gate, and you can come down any time and take low, which is fantastic, I would love that. However, it's farm floods, and we all know that flooding to a car is not very good. So that's, I don't want to do that. I don't want to spend, you know, six or seven grand on an Eldorado, uh, because I would be buying a cheap one to do up. I will be having work done to it. He'd have a special paint job and everything like that. So yeah, I don't think that's a option. Is it here I've got to turn in? I can't remember where I got to turn in. I'm on Blakeney Straight today, by the way. Kids with cars go absolutely flat out down here. It's so bumpy and there's so many crashes. They just don't realize. Um, you can barely do 40 down here without hitting a bump too hard and the car moving too much. So yeah, if you ever if you ever in um, the Foster Dean, do not go too fast on Blakeney Straits. It's just stupid. Um, the amount of accidents that's happened now over the years. They think, oh, this is poor. I could go really fast. It's nice and straight. It's not. And this is bumpy here, but I'll go into the wood there. Oh, the bar's gonna get spot up. I only washed it the other day, and then I followed a lorry back from Gloucester, had to wash it again. Um, so, I bought the rock crawler down, there it is on the table there. Uh, this is a FTX model, I will put a link in the description where you can buy yours. Now this is a rolling chassis, you do not get all the electronics, but this is fully upgraded to the top of the top specs. The chassis anyway, not the sham. Um, and it's great, it's great fun. So what I'm going to do is have a little play of it around here and we'll take it across the river. I just forgot my tripod, so I'll run up and grab that. Um, but it's actually quite nice down here today. I was expecting it to be wetter than this. That's why I didn't bring the classic Fiat and um, because I'm not taking it out of the wet. But if the sun comes out at some point, then maybe, just maybe, my little Fiat Yugo can come out. Um, yes, I named it Yugo. Yes. Okay, we're down here now. Uh, just set the camera. Got our transmitter. Let's see what happens. I don't know how deep this is. We're, we're, we'll take it steady. I, you know, I don't want to lose this thing. <laughs> but it is fully waterproof, so it'd be, be interesting. Not too bad, actually. Yeah, look at that. It's going. It's, it's doing it get over to the other side let me just stop it now let me zoom in for you all there we go so he's halfway more than halfway I think that's deep the other side we'll, we'll take a oh no not too bad let's go in the tree yeah, look at that. That's what a rock crawler should do. Let's bring them back across. It is a bit deep though. <laughs> no fair play, I'm really pleased with that. Yeah, I just had a message. Stopping that. Oh, not very professional like, is it? Here we go, come back across. Easy. Absolutely easy. Let me uh there we go. Go for a jump. Okay, we're back at the car now, and I thought it's time to show you the plans with the uh, Bar 595 Comp, Compet, Competition, Competitive, or, I don't know, something like that. <laughs> but anyway, right, I've just put the, you know, the FTX back in. Uh, there's another one of my models I'm working on. Right, first things first. 
I'm in two minds of fitting a wide body kit to this beast. Now, next video, I'll show you the wide body kit on the inside. I forget who makes it. It's from America, and I think it looks cool. It looks really nice. Comes with a couple of problems. It would mean I would have to change my wheels, and I don't want to be doing that. I do like those wheels, but we're, you know, this could be done the line a bit. We're not talking tomorrow, so it's something that I'm considering. Uh, but I would like a white body kit on this for you, give it a more racy look. Um, I'm thinking of getting rid of the chrome, the chrome mirrors, going for carbon. Um, but that's only if I go with the different wheels because of the white body kit. Um, I already, you know, something small but very, very effective. Um, engine wise, this is all coming out of course because I'm putting the forge induction kit on this. Um, I've actually ordered the pipe yesterday, I ordered one of them, um, and then I'll get the induction kit and we'll get that all fitted, um, dump valve, everything basically, I want to completely change this, I picked these up, see, these are off eBay, now they're carbon fibre, to look plastic basically, um, but they cover the battery, for something that was cheap and I think it looks good, it just covers up the battery, makes it look a little bit tidier, um, so I was pleased with that. Um, that. That was somewhat small but effective. Um, that's got to be changed as well. When we do change all the stuff over, all new clips, new screws, new bolts, everything like that, so we know it's been done. Um, I'm waiting for the Italian stripe to come across here, and I thought that was here today when those parcels come. But no, obviously not. I did add these fins to the front. <laughs> Again, something small off eBay. I think it was like five pounds, seven pounds, something. Something or nothing. I mean, look at that. Just just gives the bumper a different look. They would be going if I order that wide body kit because it makes the arches wider and the bumper across the front is a part of the bumper as well. You don't change the bumpers over, it's a piece to go on to the bumper. But that's something to look at. Like I said, I'm not 100% set on a body kit yet, but I would like to do it. It's, it, it all comes down to the wheels. Do I want to be um, changing the wheels? Because I do like them. Um, but if I did change them, my brother would probably have them as well. Uh, my brake discs are vented ones. Yeah. I got muddy shoes now, and it means I gotta get back in that bar and make that all muddy. Um, but the modification I done yesterday, well, Saturday, it's coming to post Saturday. Scuderia. Italia That is just you know somewhat small for eBay. I think that cost about 15 pounds Now when you stand away from the car, it looks great. I do like that very nice uh, There's our record Monza exhaust I want to get them shined up uh, Rear lights. so I'm changing the rear lights. I think it's RS motoring or racing who Got the uh, fourth gen lights, but they've been um They've got the modded uh, electrics, so they work properly, because you can't just fit them to this. Um, so these will be replaced with the fourth gen, make the car look nicer from the back. I do like those lights. Um, I could have bought a newer bath, but this one come up, uh, Itali um, oh, what's his name, Milani Motors, and yeah, I fell in love with it straight away. I will be going down to Milani Motors soon, and we will take a look around his showroom. He has a classic Fiat 500 in that, including a, a Bath race car, which is fantastic, which he takes to track days and everything. Speaking of track days, yes, I will be on the track days. Um, I don't know if I mentioned the last video, I'm heading to the Green Hall, which is Nürburgring, and really looking forward to it. Next August, I will be heading to Nürburgring in this Bath. Hopefully, we've got some of the mods done and everything then. Um, and what I will be doing is doing some laps of the track, also hopefully on the way going to Spa. Um, so that's going to be a fantastic holiday. We're doing it in about seven days, and we're driving the old way, and we're driving the old way back. So that should be a fantastic, fantastic video. Um, but at the same time, I will be going to Castle Coombe, uh, track day over there, and Brands Hatch. Um, and in all that, there's got to be the car meets as well, so that'd be really good for the channel. Um, we're really looking forward to the car meets, get these videos up and everything, show off some of their cars. I know they want to show them off, so yeah, that'd be good. Um, so that's some of the mods, not all of them, there's going to be plenty more. 
but we got to add to B&M because I've got to go and buy some stuff. More Hot Wheels. Look at them. A Jeep's nice. Land Rover, sorry, Land Rover. Hmm. Quite some new ones here, actually. And it's five. Tesla. Ugh. I'm wasting my money on a Hot Wheels Tesla. Um, what we got? Hmm. Nice massage. I like these. So I already have the orange one for my 140 trucks. Yeah, but I do like the carbon. Lego, I'm done with Lego. I'm done with Lego. <laughs> I keep saying that, but yeah, I'm done with Lego. That's crazy. Oh, look at the mystery ink van. How cool is that? There's more pot wheels across here somewhere. Yeah, here we go, look. Oh, I do like the blue charger. I think it's more than here as well. Look at these uh, Toy Story toys. How good are they? Walkie talkers as well. I do like the RC car. I might have to buy that and customise it. That's more Hot Wheels, right? What we got? The Tesla. Yeah, I got all of them. I'm trying to cut my Hot Wheels collection down. Way too many. Here you go, look. Ooh. Is that a Lois Esprit? I think it is. I'll take that one. I'll take that. Yes, jammy dodgers and ketchup as well. I like the ice cream van. Another charger. Yeah, nothing else that really. I like to car stuff. Got a tours. Hammers. That's a four. I need to get a new glue gun. Don't need it yet, no. Right, I've come here purely for. Bet I got one. No, they haven't got any. They got the hand mitts, which I got one. But um, they had a cloth, proper cloth. And yeah, they haven't got one now. Never mind. I'll have to go one next time in Gloucester. I thought I'd come into uh, Lydney Town and get a Greg's. There's a Greg's just around the corner here. So uh, that'd be good to get. So, thank you to all new subscribers. Please do subscribe. Um, I really want to get this channel taken off, go up really well with it. Um, like I said, we will be doing videos with other cars, the Barracuda I said about, the Corvettes, the uh, V12 Bentley, which is going to be absolutely fantastic. Um, really, that's going to be a great video. Uh, I'm really looking forward to that. Um, and that, that's not too far away either, so that would be good. Uh, the FTX, I, I wanted to really try it in the water today just to see if it could do it. And yeah, no problem at all. So that's that's a bonus. I paid a lot of money for that truck. Um, over £200 for an RC uh, vehicle. But it got all the upgrades on and everything, so that's good. But my goal is now to spend all my money on this car. I spend a lot of money on models, um, model cars, model trains, you know, stuff like that that's my hobby but I really want to get put money into this car now what do you guys think about a wide body kit do I put a wide body kit on this bath let me know in the comments below um, if I do it does mean I would have to change the wheels and I do like these wheels um, and then if I am doing the wide body kit I will be doing the carbon mirrors because So yes, do I do a wide body kit? Just let me know. What, what do you guys think? Um, I must say as well, I watch a lot of the Stradman, his videos. Um, I love watching his videos. He has some superb cars. I mean, at the moment, he's I'm not very happy with him because he took the vinyl, uh, the Vampire Red off his uh, Toyota Supra. What are you playing at? 
but yeah I understand why because I really want to see it in the purple as well to match your uh, your um, Aventador and your Wrangler I think that would look pretty damn good in the garage well you can't really get the uh, truck in the garage but parked on your driveway that's gonna look really nice so yeah I'm a little bit disheartened that you took the um, red wrap off your Supra because I did like it but I am very intrigued to see what the um, purple is going to look like. Also, I want to do a shout out to Driven 24 7 Amber. Um, I watch a lot of your videos because, of course, you're having a bath and a love for a bath like I do. Um, and I really do like your yellow one. Um, it's, it's a nice car. It's, I can't remember what year it is. It's a lot newer than mine, that's for sure. But. No, it's a very nice one. Um, I, I keep up to date with all your videos. And lastly, uh, Shmi. I'm sure you know Shmi. Um, he has some great content as well. He just recently been doing videos on his um, Aston Martin, which I, I, you know, I love that car. I think that's one of the best cars he owns. So that's good. So yeah, there's three shout outs. I'm gonna try to do shout outs every video I do. Uh, so I'm gonna head home and I think we might just, what time is it? Yeah, we'll end the video here. Um, just because I gotta get out, uh, do some work on my model railway. Um, but I will be doing the videos on this bath, putting the induction kit in, and when parts arrive, doing a box in and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, the only thing I didn't talk about was the decal, but more on that soon in the next video. Um, very looking forward to that. So yeah, thank you all for watching, and please give me a like, that thumbs up really helps, and please subscribe, I need to get the subscribers in. Um, so yeah, thank you all for watching, and I shall see you next time.